guys. In the last video for this Yamaha hauler, we got the inside coated in Pore 15. And in today's video, I'm gonna try to get these wheels installed. Got some parts here. I got inch and a quarter and inch and a half square tubing. Got some stub axles, got some hubs. And I think the game plan is we'll use this bolt pattern. I already got this hub off the other wheel. And I got the studs pounded out on this hub. And I gotta do that yet for that one. And I think the game plan is we'll use um, these hubs. And I already tried die grinding this, and that's not gonna work. So this will fit. This is two and a half inches, so this will fit into here. And then we'll drill new holes right here in this area um, to line up with the original bolt holes here. Um, and then we'll just use some grade eight, three eighths uh, nut and bolts to hold the wheel onto the hub. And then we got bearings here. Okay, so what I ended up doing to get this two and a half inch hole in the wheel is I got a carbide tipped hole saw and then cut through, I fit this piece of wood in here tight and then uh, you know cut through the wood so that acted as a guide because otherwise the hole saw would walk around. So that's that. So on this side. All right, let's get the other wheel done. Got our hubs all mounted up, and that's what it looks like from the back side. And we got our trailer up on the table here. So I mentioned in my previous video that this axle comes apart for storage. So we'll take these pins out and pull this axle off. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. So this inch and a quarter fits in this area where the original axle was. And I could use these pins to lock the axle in place. That way, if I ever wanted to go back to the original, you know, I'm not destroying this. Um, and then, so this stub axle is an inch and a quarter, and that would fit inside this. So if I were to weld this tube on top of this one, 
think that would work pretty good. Then I can just weld those axles into here. And that way the tire is not sticking too far out from the trailer. I don't want it a big gap right here. So I think that's the route I'm going to take. cut this somewhere right here and then that axle can actually go inside this more okay test fit I like the distance in here now we cut five inches off this so there's an inch and a half that hangs out on each side um, so now we'll cut the inch and a quarter to this same length as this inch and a half all right got the axle on let's get some grease in these bearings Put the seal on the back side. Like that. Make sure this lip's got some grease in it. like butter. Get the cotter pin in there and get the cap on. Throw a little crease in the cap. Get this off the table and see what it looks like. Alright, that's what it looks like. I did put the 
original tongue back on so now because now that the trailer sits higher this has this downturn in it so now the trailer sits more level uh, up next we'll do a paint job on it I had some John Deere yellow laying around so I did like a test section here to see how good it matches this Yamaha yellow not too sure yet it looks kind of like more neon to me but we'll see Got the dump feature on it. You know, and it sits higher, it kinda it's got more of an angle to dump stuff out. I really like the looks of these wheels though. Entire. It's pretty cool. They are what are they? 21 by 710. put a this hitch is kind of it's kind of weak I should really make a better one so it maybe it's a couple inches higher that way this would sit totally level then let's try putting it behind the king quad and see what it looks like all right and that's what it looks like behind the king quad I think this hitch might be a little bit higher but not much And this is what it, my other one looks like just for a comparison. So these are, I don't really see a size on there, but man, these are all, I wonder if these are original, they're all cracked. Goodyear, made in USA. Might be original, I don't know. Kind of fun building this thing uh so up next we'll give this thing a paint job so stay tuned for that thanks for watching like comment subscribe see you in the next one